아... Treby Devin in the building. You know what time it is. So I got some bad news and I got some worse news. Uh stuff happens, you know what I mean? The prelude uh I don't know man. I, I don't really know how to say it, so I might as well just, just show you. Nani? Mm. What the fuck? Oh lord, baby, she pushed in. Yeah, man. So, if you guys want to know what happened, just stay tuned. So yeah, unfortunately, the prelude was rear-ended. Out of my control. Um, I mean, basically the the trunk is unlatchable. Trunk's damaged. Quarter panels pushed in. I believe I'm pretty sure. Obviously, the bumper support, the metal bumper support behind the actual bumper cover is pushed in. I'm sure that the trunk is pushed in, as you can see from where the light trunk is pushed in. Tail lights crushed, salvageable but crushed, and you got the uh, quarter panel. And if you look real close, it kind of dents in all the way up past the gas tank cover. So I don't know, man. This this is one of those uh, heart stopping, heart crushing moments, but um, nothing I can do. So that's the uh, that's the bad news. The worst news is that now um, I'll, and I'll explain what happened to you to it in a second. But the worst news is um, I'm gonna have to fight the insurance company on trying not to total my car. Even with all the mods I have, we know that that's not really gonna increase the market value too much, but. I'm gonna have to fight them not to total it. So, we'll see. But, so do y'all want the short story or the long story? Let me know. Oh, don't worry, I'll wait. Go ahead. Click the screen. Short story, long story, which one? Oh yeah? All right, so this is what happened. <clears throat> I'm coming home from the shop. Actually, a few of you might have watched my um, my live stream of me uh, driving from the shop to the house. And I didn't make it all the way back to the house on the live stream. I kind of cut it in the middle of the highway. But when I got home, uh, my driveway is actually a shared driveway. We share it with our driveway with our neighbors. So I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the driveway. So they use it when they come out and we use it when, when we come out so i'm actually at the top of this hill so i'll go up there so i can kind of show you what happened but basically i backed in and i actually had got a call from a customer so i actually stopped at the top of the hill and i also like was thinking to myself like well i might as well check the mail too so about 10 minutes not 10 minutes about 10 or 15 seconds into my conversation with the customer, I'm just in the car and dude, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? What in the world? Oh Lord, baby. And yeah, uh, the uh, the grandma of the family of the of the neighbor's house, she was backing up, and I don't how how do you how are you in reverse and you're not paying attention? I don't know who backs up without looking backwards. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, it's pretty much what happened, man. Um, but yeah, um, it's hard to be, 
I know a lot of you would probably be like, Ugh? but it's hard to be mad at a situation like that because, I mean, we've all had our accidents, whether it be in a car or just accidents in general, mistakes made. And I kind of learned early on when I was younger, the few accidents that I, I was in that, again, wasn't my fault. I would get mad about it, but then you realize, like, that's what insurance is for, you know what I mean? The important thing is that, um, you know, she was all right, and I was all right, um, and even though this hurts my pride and, and my spirit a little bit, um, the important thing is I'm healthy, my back could have been messed up, my neck could have been messed up, so... This thing does not focus. I hate this camera, though. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, it sucks, but at the same time, could have been a lot worse. I mean, my back and my neck could be messed up, and it's not. So, thankful for that. But, um, depending on what the insurance does, and everyone watching this video knows that they don't value these cars at anything over, like, 2500 at the most most of the time um, even though we all know mine's worth more than that but they don't care so well, I'm basically just waiting to see what the insurance company says and I'm gonna have to make a decision on whether I'm gonna actually uh, try to fix this car or make a decision to find a cleaner shell and swap everything over so two things um, in the comments let me know if you guys were in an accident um, what the total value of your car was and did they total it out put that in the comments so I want to know that and two if you have a clean shell little to no rust let your boy know I might be on the search you know what I'm saying I ain't scared to travel either so let me know in the comments but we'll see man so obviously this video is gonna be hard to like but um, hit that like button, man. Um, comment, answer my questions I asked you. you know, if you guys can let me know, you know, you know, if you guys were in an accident, what they valued your car at, and, and what they gave you, cash value, I would like to know that. Um, but uh, yeah, man, we'll see what happens. So if you're new, see that right there. That's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you